Looks like an auto save was our most recent save. That's weird because I would have thought I took a heart save. Um, hold on, let's scroll through this. Auto save, quick save, health 45%, 922 on the 5th. Also, what's weird is that uh, the internal clock for the game. Like, if we look at the save file, it obviously says, oh, you know what? Maybe that's the date within the game itself, not the date. So the date of this is the date we actually saved. And the date here is the date in-game. Perhaps that's how that's working. In any case, that shows to be the latest save is the quick save and the auto save. Oh, you know what it was? I forgot. We crashed the game, so we didn't get a chance to hard save properly like I would have liked to. I also forgot that I raised this platform a little bit. So that camera is a little bit higher than I would like it. In any case, I guess we'll go with the autosave. Uh, since the game crashes with the latest that we have it. As long as we're out of the sewer, we're okay. Because I think we came right out of the sewer when the game crashed. And we'll have to be wary of other crashes. So we'll take a hard save as soon as we get a moment to. And since this is loading up, let's transfer ourselves over. Ugh. Oh my gosh. There is a lot of shooting going on here, and I'm worried that that means we have to do everything from the sewers all over again, which would be terrible. So I hope that is not the case. No, because I'm getting shot. Yeah, okay, we came out of the sewer, so this isn't pre-sewers. I just got shot from the tower, though, because I couldn't, like, see anything. And I was trying to make sure I was oriented correctly. What's up, Phobos? How are you doing? Uh, this is not where I want to be. Yeah, because Psychic Bro is still back there. Alright, this is the wrong place. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is where we get messed up. Alright, as long as we keep line of sight broken on this guy, he won't be able to hurt us. We'll go to the next level. This is where we crashed, right out here. What's going on with you, Phobos? What are you doing up so late? What's everyone doing up so late? Enjoying Stalker, I hope so. Alright, so first thing we need to do is get some cover from the guy we know is shooting at us, which is either in the helicopter or in the tower itself. Second thing we need to do is probably fix ourselves. Let's use a med kit. No, our our healing factor is taking care of that. Thank God for artifacts. Third, let's make sure we're taking care of weapons. I don't think we... I just tried to fold the stock on this like it was Tarkov. And Tarkov in your inventory... Oh, hello! This is bad. I'm in like a place where I don't really have cover, and I really don't want to be where I'm at right now, and I can't sprint for some reason. Why can't I not sprint? Please sprint. Okay, there you go. Alright, I just want to stay safe for a little bit. So in Tarkov, when you're in the inventory, um, middle clicking on a weapon will fold its stock to help you save space, and I just tried to do that in here, even though that is definitely not something in this game. I feel like when dudes get stunned, that's the time to try and take them for a headshot, but it's not always... It doesn't always work out the way I want it to. You know what I'm saying? Where'd this guy go? Uh, there we are. Oh! No! Bad day, bad day, bad day. Now the problem with playing like this is that I'm kind of burning through ammo, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. And I was not ready because I was digging around in the inventory there. Prep work for your real work on Monday. Still got stuff to do tomorrow. On a Sunday? I got you doing prep work on a Sunday, my boy? Also, this is not loading where I want it to load. I suppose because there's a difference. Oh, you know what it is? I'm hitting the quick save button. And I'm not going to the auto save. I'm going to the quick save. Of course. So let's load the auto save. And once we're in the autosave, we'll quick save out there and we should be good to go. At least to not be in the tunnel anymore when we are loading. Alright, so take the quick save there. Since we know a little bit more about what's going on, let's go ahead and get cover, knowing that we got a big fight on our hands. Take stock of the ammunition. We have a little bit less than five mags, about four and a half magazines to use. Uh, running full auto with this nice rifle is doing a lot of damage, but we are also burning through, you know. Precious ammunition. I still don't really know if cover penetration in this thing is a game or not. In this game is a thing or not. It seems to sort of work and then sort of not work. In any case, it doesn't look like I have an exit here, but if they do funnel into this building, 
then I can kind of catch them on their way in. And it'll suck if they all funnel in at the same time as uh, before, but it gives me a better thing than rushing after them myself, if I could draw them out. And then I still have to worry about this guy who I think is in that tower. I'm like fairly certain he's in that tower. I don't, because the helicopter's not here anymore and he's still there. And over the intercom they're playing Sidorovich's favorite song. Let's see, I don't want to leave and like rush around the cover on the left side. Okay, maybe that guy was in the bushes the whole time. I'll take that. No, there is a guy in front of me in the bushes and a guy in the tower. Which I can't see because it's obscured by a tree. I feel that, Phobos. I feel that. You're doing what you need to do. I'm just saying, you know, it's your weekend. Don't, uh... Don't overwork yourself. I also just realized when you're actively bleeding, you leave behind a blood trail. I never noticed that before. Alright, so we need to take care of the near target. We have a far target we're concerned about, but I don't think I can hit him from here. And yet, I don't really want to expose myself that much. Yeah, so... Oh! Okay, that guy's gone. Uh oh, another one here. Where you at? Where you at? Uh, oh my goodness. Oh! Okay. Take over here. I just wanted to get out from behind. I didn't want to have my back to those guys that I know could come at me at any time. Uh, that guy's gone. Should be at least. Still got people there and they're fighting someone else, which means if I hurry. There's probably some people I can help out and save. But I gotta be quick, but I have to be cautious. Because this is an area that I don't know. Give me that. Give me that grenade. Oh, that's not grenades. Just wanna see if that gets people moving. Yeah, I got one right here. It looks like he went down. A little bit of a bandage. I run out of bandages, got plenty of med kits, but right now I have more med kits than bandages, so I'm not afraid to use those as well. Oh, goodness. Getting a little bit of a ruski sandwich here. Oh, and now it's a three way. Where's this guy at? He's back here. He looks like he's shooting into the sky. That may be his AI bugging out while he tries to shoot at me. I guess he wrapped around that wall there. I've got someone behind the half wall behind me. This guy is way back there. He's still landing a few shots on me. And I'm gonna run out of ammo soon if I keep fighting with this, unfortunately. Ugh! Caught that headshot. What's up? My brains are up in the air right now. That's it. What's going on with you? How are you doing, my boy? Good to see you. Night crew. Maestro, Phobos, Etter, what are your night crew resolutions? What do you want night crew to do this year that night crew has never done before? It's time to bring back the revenge of night crew. Okay, so we know somebody wraps behind this way, which means we need to be on the lookout for them. This isn't too dark for you guys, is it? It's like twilight for me, which is very ambient, and I don't really want to turn up the gamma to ruin what the game presents to me, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, someone's shooting. I'm trying to draw a little bit of fire just so I can figure out where people are. Okay, that's the direction that we went before. But I'm too far for him to register on my PDA at the moment. Sorry, not PDA, my mini map. Oh, hello! You are a lot closer than I thought. I think he caught that one on the forehead. We're good to go. Signed up for the Final Fantasy V 4 job Fiesta this year. That's my stupid gaming thing for the month. What does that mean? Final Fantasy V, four job fiesta. Is that five different games or four different things in the fifth game or what? I want Night Crew to provide me with more opportunities than ever before. Done. Because I don't think Night Crew has ever offered you any opportunities before. So just by saying so, we're already beating the record. Okay, I'm getting shot from way too many sides. Yeah. Okay, so it's like, I don't want to run and gun in this game, but at the same time, it's like staying in one place, not working too well for me, when they can close in from different angles. 
but I don't want to push too hard in a place where I get stuck and then I can't really go anywhere. I wonder if I could take cover in that tower if I could get up there. And then of course in a game like this, ammunition is a concern. Come on baby, dig, 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 get up there. Alright. This is terrible. I can see, but now I have, like, absolutely no cover, though. Come on, come in the window, baby. You know you want to. Oh, hello. Where are you coming from? You're right here at this corner, according to Minimap. Uh, I kind of want a quick save here, but I think I'm going to regret it, because... We're in a tower, and it might be hard to get out if we get stuck here. Switching over to semi-automatic. So, stop wasting ammo, even though I need some of that rapid fire. Those headshots, it's better than wasting ammo that's not hitting anything. Not Debian, nah. Not you. I think that's what that means. Or you won't have it. It's either you won't have it or not you. Not Debian, nah. Wait, nah, Debian. On you? No, wait, nah is like on. Or of. Oh my gosh! This dude came up the ladder. I did not know that was something they could do. Stalker's like, surprise features, baby. Revenge of the Night Crew. This time we'll find Strelok and kill him. Aren't I Strelok, though? Not like in the game, I mean like me. Are you, are you threatening me? <laughs> are you threatening me on behalf of the secretary right now? Or is this a, is this a personal? Is this a personal vendetta that you're going after? Alright, this vantage point is actually giving us a bit of a better uh, outcome this time. Twenty sensibilities. The four jaw things are challenge running, you limit just four and have one of each. I see. Is that gonna be fun for you, Hypnotic? I'm sorry, Eter, is that gonna be fun for you? I saw Hypnotic and I got surprised. Ah <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna fire all the security. I hired security to keep uh near the wells at out and did not keep showing up so they're obviously not worth the money that we're paying for them we might as well put that money back towards the pizza budget and the prophylactic budget did you guys have you guys encountered the uh prophylactic commercial on twitch yet? it's i have to say it's probably the, the when it, in terms of commercials that are specifically targeting people on twitch like they recorded new dialogue and stuff like that I think it's actually one of the best Twitch commercials right now. I got people on multiple sides. I need to get out of this tower so I can get some ammo. Although, we can probably do a little bit more work with a pistol now that I think there's only one or two at the moment. Here's what we're gonna do. I hear that guy breathing. I'm gonna hit this ladder. I am going to get to this distance, jump off. I search this guy's body, take his ammo and bandages. I'm gonna go back and get some of these guys' ammo and bandages, guys that I killed over here. Also, we're getting some kind of shadow texturing issue. I don't like it, but I can't stop it. Red, I'm not worried about your pistol ammo. Oops, not the button I want it. No ammo in this rifle for me. I'll drop that. It's like, I got a nice AK. And suddenly everyone else has nice echoes. This game's uh, progression of like power scaling just goes right along with you. Why did you ever take money out of the pizza budget? Because you, me, and the rest of us... Oh, whoa! Now you're in the tower? That's my tower, bro. Get out of there. He's like, oh, I saw... I saw the stalker. Pulling. Oh my gosh! I saw the stalker pulling off this wonderful technique. I think I'll try it too. And it worked for him very well. Get 
this guy's ammo, get his grenade. How many grenades am I rolling with? Five? I can afford to lose a few grenades, it seems. But I still want to uh, pick up a few of the scraps. What is that? Oh, okay. The texture on the ground messed with what I saw. It's got some anti rad mod too. And because it messed with what I saw, I thought it was a different gun. Can't tell if those are legs. That's part of the truck. So I still got the street behind the apple. Nope. Maybe he advanced. Seriously, if I, I could have like Tarkov level shooting as far as where bullets go when you aim, that would be quite nice. But I, I accept the game as it is, as I do with most things. If you don't, you can't really get that good experience of it. Also, I'm checking my DPI to make sure I've been aiming correctly. Eh, it's all good. Hypnotic, what is your night crew resolution? What do you want night crew to do to change and be better in the future? Okay, how many of you guys are there? Remember when we were in the sewer and I fought like eight dudes after I fought the mutant? And some guy who plays stalker came by and he was like, yeah, there should have only been six and i was like damn it has me questioning like what else i'm running into that's not typical i already stripped this dude i think they intentionally made the game's game fresh and feel flat like an oblivion hmm that's fair oh, oh, oh. i'm just over here skulking around since when there was there a pizza budget since I met Maestro, so I want to say mid-2016, perhaps early 2017. Also, I'm going to take this moment to eat some bread and sausage and canned food just to lighten our load. Alright, so the objective is that way. But I know there are still enemies around, so I'm going to hold up in this building for a second. Make sure it's actually clear. See if we can find some ammunition for our cause. A safe? What? And there's nothing in it? But you know what? I could store some junk in here that I don't exactly need at the moment. Like, this MP5 is doing me no good. If I find more MP5 ammo, I'll probably find another MP5 to go with it. So, I'm not too worried. I believe the guys that I'm hearing are in the building that I need to go. This is also not a loot box. And there are now guys behind me where I was. If my audio is working correctly. Etsu, did you say what your night crew resolution was? I'm not sure if I missed it. Pay you to be here? You want me to pay you to come here and torment me? I could pay you to not come torment me. When you should be asleep. Drinking your whiskey and smoking your weed and driving your Tesla down the empty streets of Florida. There's nothing in here. Alright, we gotta get rid of that guy. Or he tries some crazy flank or something. Plus, I want his rifle rounds. Oh, hello. Where you at? Whoa, that side jump. Stalker bro got some hops. He can side jump. From a standstill, more than he can run forward in the same amount of time. You'll see that little, like, sketchy shadow texture to the right side of the screen. Should be over my camera. Man, running is like, it's cool until you run into obstacles, which is cool game wise that you slow down when you run into an obstacle, but I feel like the velocity checks on that could have been a little bit better. I don't even think that's reaching him, and I'm worried that that might not be the same guy. But we're gonna go for it like it is. Using that knowledge, I will formulate a plan to complicate to undertake. What? I think the thing I want on Night Crew is knowledge of what Night Crew is specifically. Back in the day, it's here when I was working full time and not working the contracts like I am now, and I was still in the military, Night Crew streams would be. Oh my gosh! Night crew streams would be when we got on late night, we talked real low, we turned the lights down, and we played usually stealth games where we could just talk about stuff. But otherwise, night crew was limited to everyone that was up like way past midnight, and we'd play until the sun came up. And yet, somehow, y'all still don't know how to spell night crew. Yeah. 
Even though I got it like written down and everything. Y'all act like y'all don't even get the pamphlets. Do y'all even read the pamphlets I send out? Oh man, I forgot the Q. You know what? We both, we all spelled it wrong. Ah, I was hitting the heal button, but I hit it a little too late. It's supposed to be N-I-T-Q-R-E-W. That's alright, Phobos. Lots of people can't read. And they're still very successful. We call them people politicians. I'm gonna let my health, like, naturally come back without wasting any items for right now. I am starting to wonder if for this game, if kind of like Ground Branch, if I want to, uh change my leans to a toggle. Make some of the side stuff and stuff a little bit easier. Use those rolling peppers and the pamphlets in the event. Use my pamphlets for rolling paper. That's so uh, beautiful. Nice reversal though. I hate that this dude's recoil, like one, the muzzle flash and two, the arc of the pistol when it goes through its recoil cycle is so violent that I cannot see what I'm shooting at. And so I can't like gauge. Oh my gosh! Bad day, bad day, bad day. <laughs> I got flanked. And then I hit the wrong. <laughs> I gripped my mouse and I hit the bad hotkey. And I pulled up my knife. Alright, look, we're just gonna have to use rifle bullets while we got them, because it's the only thing keeping us alive. I also don't know why I picked that up. Okay. Gotta go here. I might... Later on, what I might try doing is equipping more of the artifacts that have the uh, bulletproof attribute. I'm wondering if it'll help us out here. Especially since we carry around so many medkits to heal with. Maybe it would be a stronger priority to not get hurt in the first place. And then have med kits when we do get hurt. Oh man, my life for a prone button. Not my life, my kingdom. My horse? My horse. Did I pull out binoculars? I thought I pulled out the knife. I'll trust your judgment on that. I think I was so panicked that I didn't even look at what I was pulling out. Man, the bullet economy, though, is not working out here, and I need to start picking up pistol rounds, because I'm spending way more ammo to kill than I am getting ammo back per kill. Nah, man. Okay, I got shooting from that building, and he can probably see me through the trees and the brush and everything, can I? Whereas I cannot. Where you at, my dude? Yeah, he's definitely in there. Come on up. Alright. Oh, oh, bad throw. Yeah. Oh, that pulled him out, alright. It's not the way I wanted it to. Woo! Where you at? Are you trying to shoot me through walls right now? So I guess in Master Mode, these guys never have ammo in the weapons that you pick up. Uh-oh. I tried to eat this and the game is frozen. I think my dude doesn't know how to use a can opener. That or maybe trying to eat out of... Yeah, game crash. Perhaps trying to eat out of someone else's inventory through a variable that was like... Oof. How does this work? I don't think I've tried that before. Whoops. Those are curly knife cues. I was going to use this piercing gaze to stab the enemy. <laughs> you turn the binoculars backwards and you could focus light at them. <laughs> it's like a laser beam. <laughs> what do you think Superman got it from? But in any case, I don't feel like I've really struck that happy balance yet. And yet we have so much money that I feel we should be buying more rifle ammo off a trader than depending on finding everything in the world like I was before when I was stashing 
like eight or nine different rifles and such. Yeah, suck on that, baby. Whoa! Are you kidding me? He did he taint the grenade? Is what you're telling me? He just turned his back. He was like, if I don't see the blast, it never happened. Well, tell me that did it. Probably not, right? Nope. Oh, the fear. What in the world, man? All right, what difficulty am I on right now? I might turn it down just for this section because I don't want to be stuck in here all night. It's not what I came for. No, we are on master difficulty. Hmm. Sounds like I need a beer. You might be on to something, though. Well, I have water bottles back on that bookshelf, but the last bottle all the way on the other side is a little bit of that special uh, Tennessee tea, if you would. It's not exactly a beer, but it'll do. You know what? I'm going to give this a couple more tries. Master difficulty. Let's see if we can keep it going. That is not going to get where I wanted it to go. I got to hit this dude in the head, too. If he's not already dead from the grenade. No, he's dead. All right, sweet. Okay, grenade got you good. This time, he didn't have bread. And you know what that tells us? It tells us that loot is generated uh, per body upon death, and it isn't, like, predetermined. Or at least, not all the time. Perhaps it is for, like, special NPCs or something, but not for this one. This door is locked. This thing is made of glass. What are you talking about? Things like this are never locked, locked. Come on. Whatever. Nice and smooth indeed, my dearest folks. Alright, you guys think we can make it into the building? Or do you guys think we have more people to worry about? I hear people yelling, but I think it's the dude back over there in the tower. Who is no concern of mine. Oh, someone's shooting. I don't know where from, and I don't know where they're at. And I don't know where they're going. I'm worried about this building having so many angles, but I also need ammunition. Okay, this thing is telling me I got people near me, and I don't see any yellow dots, so I just assume enemies are around. Uh, clearing stairwells. If you don't know why clearing stairwells are so terrible, look up YouTube video of Clint Smith, How to Clear a Stairwell. Alright, should we go floor by floor or should we go straight to the top and work back down? We'll stick to floor by floor for now. We don't want anyone bugging off on us. Well, we got our backs turned. What is even the mission here again? Oh my gosh, Matt. This is you. I know. I know that's me. And there's a stash. And the mission is to... Steal the military documents. Yay! Okay. But where are they at? And are they going to trigger more people to come in here? And can I hit one of these radios and call for help? Nothing in that. Go for the building. Yeah, good call, Maestro. Remember in Dread, the way to cut a stairwell was a smoke grenade. Was it a smoke grenade for the stairwell? I thought... I thought the stairwell was a... The smoke grenades were when they went out of the stairwell. I thought the stairwell itself was a... No, they did use smoke. And then a combination of smoke and suppressors. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Ah. I was just thinking, do I need a heal? And I saw my three quarters health, and I was like, nah, I'll be fine. And then... He came around the corner, I was like, nah, should've, should've kept feeling. I, the way I heard my rifle cock right now, when I just loaded it back on, I heard his rifle cock as well. Which is hilarious. Ah, 
Oh, are you kidding me? He pre cod my pre cod and he relocated. Are you coming from the bottom or the top? Where did you come from? At least this stairwell is covered. So you're not exposed to the top the entire time. Great! Now he's not even down here. This is... terrible. It's like I know there's a guy here now, and now I don't know where he is because he changed positions when I reloaded. That's... A, that's essentially what Clint Smith says. Hey! I got a first round headshot. That's new. Alright, this thing is saying I only got one person around me, and I believe it's a yellow dot of a guy that's in here. Okay, looks like we could have come up that way. And hopefully it's not the guy I just shot, because I'm pretty sure that was a red dot and was an enemy. I can faintly see a yellow dot under the green, so maybe there's someone over here? No, there's no one else under here. But their documents are here. Uh, let's get the ammo. I hear voices. I don't know where they're coming from. This door is locked. I will take the military documents. I told Barkeep about you. He should talk to duty guys to let you through. I suggest you go see him fast. Okay, so now duty will let me through their roadblock. And when we go to the duty guys, we can also sell them some of our gear. Hopefully we can get to the duty guys without having to go through the sewers again, because that was terrible. And I'm not going back down there. I don't care what anybody says. Two. So it's two swipes or one stab to get through a box. I realized I defaulted to stabbing them and I didn't really understand why I was doing that. Okay, my mouse is getting hung up. I moved some stuff on my desk around to make my keyboard, or to make my monitor sit in a better place as well as my keyboard. But now it annoys me because my mouse keeps getting hung up on some of the things I'm using to raise my keyboard. But by having my keyboard raised, I can also not crane my neck down towards my monitor. I noticed my back and my neck were hurting more than usual and I couldn't understand why. Can we shut off that siren? Nice! See, that's the kind of stuff I would have loved in 2007, to be like, oh, you can actually shoot the thing that makes noise, and it goes away. Is this ladder accessible? I imagine it's no more accessible than the other one. Also, my meter is suddenly showing six people in this area, and I know the building I just came through did not have anybody there, so I imagine there's enemies on the bottom floor waiting for me. Was it too loud, Hypnotic, or was it just annoying? Because I was starting to think I should turn the game volume down. But I didn't want to like have to turn it back up. Oh, oh, task failed to get the artifact. That's just one of those time tasks. And also, is my voice balanced with the game and the gunfire and all that? You guys know I hate sounding too loud when the game is kind of quiet. But as long as things are balanced, I'm all good with it. Okay, I saw that guy go down. Got uh, 12 rounds in this rifle and a dream, baby. That thing does not explode. I don't know why I expected that to explode. Oh, okay, it does explode. It just had to be not me that was shooting at it. The other guy can make it explode fine. Ah, seven rounds in the rifle does not inspire confidence. Two grenades, might be two kills out here. I know there's still one guy. No, there's two. I hear two different voices out here. Maybe that one took care of one of them. I am glad we left those barrels out there, so we at least have the opportunity. Okay, that's him. Where's the other dude? I'm glad the audio is fine, Ghost. Thank you. And yeah, now that the siren's gone. I'm glad we found that out. I'm glad I tried to shoot it, and I didn't just think, like, man, I wish they wouldn't. Stop. Pov niet. I don't know pov niet, but I know stop is stop. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, Ruski. Where you at, though? That's that's not gear. Okay. 
Much like Soviet Union. It's split into pieces. <laughs> Good joke. I get if not give it an eight out of ten, I give it a nine out of ten. Just because we had that conversation about the Soviet Union <laughs> before, and I think you deserve the extra point for actually acknowledging that there is no Soviet Union anymore. At least not as it existed before. Smajir, what's going on? Why am I making so much noise? Why are you making so much noise? Go back to sipping your tea and your your digestive biscuits, governor. How about that? Also, what's up, Smasher? How are you doing? And what are you doing up so late? Oh, I know there's someone. Oh, that's what. There's a guy in the tower. And there's guys down the road that I'd like to proceed on. And they probably are not keen on me continuing down their road. Also, I'm kind of leaving behind the possibility of statues. That would have been nice to pick up. And I acknowledge that they would have been nice to pick up, but I'm not sure if I'm the guy that can go get them, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that was hitting him. That guy fell all the way down. I heard someone yell out there. I don't know if it was a guy that was getting hurt, or a mutant, or a guy that was getting hurt by a mutant. And in either way, I'm, I'm kind of like, eh, that was a little scary to me. <sighs> so we have, we have a few artifacts that can upgrade uh, bulletproof like our bullet resistance, and I'm willing to try them just to see how that works. Like in combat, because we are running out of ammo, we're gonna need some other advantages. So we still have some healing factor, not great healing factor, but some. And now we have, what's our bulletproof rating now? Ooh, we have a minus 11 on bulletproof, what is that? Ah, because these work counteractive to it. So let's take away our healing factor and let's go for total bulletproof as far as we can with the artifacts we have on hand. And that gives us a plus 13 and a plus 13, so a plus 26%. However, I am irradiated right now. Oh, I'm irradiated because some of these artifacts are radioactive. This was a terrible idea. What am I doing? This is an absolutely horrible idea. I imagine you have to, like... I imagine combining those with something that also fights radiation would be best. Governor, I got promoted. Insomnia, the same old, same old. Why are you up so late causing a ruckus here? Ask if not, I kill explaining it. Also, now that you're here, Smasher, what is your... Smasher, you were here back in the day. You remember Night Crew. What is your Night Crew resolution? What are we going to do to make Night Crew better? Better than it was before. Alright, I should heal slowly here, which means I can, like, kind of avoid engagements and let my radiation wear off while I figure out what's going on. I also hear dogs and stuff back there, but I don't really want to mess with them. What I'd like to do is go back for this stash. Not the one in the building, the one that's way back here. There's anomalies there. And the reason I'd like to do it is hopefully we can find ammunition that will put us in a good position to take on those guys down the road. How's my radiation looking? It's slowly going down. I don't think we need to drink anything else. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and vodka that away. Let our health recover. While we look for this stash. And what was this artifact we just picked up? Flesh eye is not what we just picked up. That came from one of the flesh demons. This is another gravity. So I have a few gravity and I can sell them to... The ones I'm not using, I'll sell them off to... Uh, duty guys for that sweet money so a lot of them don't carry the money I would like to perhaps the barkeep when we meet him will have some stuff or have some money <laughs> yeah if not ex explanation is spot on I was doing some work smasher and I had planned to stream at like 8 or so and go for a couple of hours and I worked so hard that I kind of for didn't realize what time it was I hope that guy doesn't see me and shoot me nope. I didn't realize what time it was so suddenly it was past midnight, and I was like, screw it, I'm not streaming on a Sunday, so we'll go ahead and get this out there. Also, this did not give me any supplies I wanted. Vodka is nice, and a wrenched is nice for money, but I'm not planning on... I'm not personally planning on using either of those, and I would have appreciated more ammo, because I don't know how I'm going to take on that roadblock without the ammunition. Maybe we don't have to go through the roadblock, maybe we can go around it. These guys are posted up here, right? We want 
to get down the road this way. And we can get back to the garbage. Before we went through this building, and going through that manhole is what got us over here, but we had to go underground. I'd really not like to go underground again. So how about we push out towards this archive box, and then we'll rejoin the road and we'll see if we can avoid this roadblock altogether. Sound like a good plan? Gonna find some booze, be right back. Way ahead of you, Smash, way ahead of you. I do wish... not. I don't really wish this, it's not like a big goal of mine. But if I could play every game with a standardized type of shooting, even if it was like, especially if it was like VR style of shooting, and it was dependent on my skills and not like a bunch of dice rolls, I do feel like I would get through every shooter much more quickly, while still being able to enjoy the challenges that each individual game has. Alright, these guys don't see me. I'm gonna keep sneaking this way. And hopefully we'll just stay away from each other. Also, that's an anomaly, not an artifact. I just don't want to go too far this way, because I imagine it's a border. Nike's over there like, I would never, I would never drink the alcohol. <sighs> Ooh, hey, that's one of those dogs I needed. Or I did used to need. I needed the tail of that thing. Maybe we can get a tail, and then when we finally do go back to Sidorovich, it would be nice to actually be able to sell it off. He does seem to be on his own right now, so even if I make noise over here killing- Oh, he ran into the unfenced part. You know what? I can come into the unfenced part too. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah, he knows. Alright, and he's gone. I only took a whole mag of pistol ammo. Hopefully those soldiers didn't hear it. And hey, we got a pseudo dog tail, I think. Yes, okay. So if we get that mission again, we can either sell it or we can turn it into the mission. Depending on how much the mission pays. Looks like we got some, yeah. We got some of those pigs out in front of us, the boars. I forget what their actual name is, but they are boars. Thought I heard something that way. Soldiers are patrolling, but they are unaware of me. So I'm going to keep rocking this way, but I'm going to try to avoid the boars because I don't have enough ammo to deal with it. Although, the stash is near these guys, and these guys don't take that many bullets to put down. So maybe we clear these guys out, we check the stash, we roll out of here and keep on the original plan. <laughs> yeah, keep enjoying your... Keep enjoying your mineral water. Uh, you know what I just realized? These boars are way different than the ones I fought before. Or at least to me, they look different. I could totally be wrong. But I don't believe these are the same that I fought before. Oh, that's bad. This is really bad. I was hitting my heel button, but I wasn't hitting it fast enough. Slips back in with cognac. Good choice. Smasher, what are you playing lately? Okay, where did we leave off? We didn't kill the dog. The dog is not dead. Yeah, and those... And the game... Okay, froze on me for a little bit. Those guys are yelling, but they don't know I'm here. That guy's hobbling around. That dog... Is... Seems to be running, but he's not running towards us. These guys are still yelling, but again, they're not aware of me. I'm gonna go after the dog again. But this time we're gonna avoid those boars, because I'm pretty sure they were a lot different. What was the question? I don't know. I think I just asked you what you want Night Crew to do for you. What What is your resolution for Night Crew? How do you think we can improve? I'm gonna avoid those boars this time. I just don't have the ammo to deal with the problem. And I no longer am carrying my, like, tertiary weapon like I used to. This thing... Seems to be stuck on that wall, and I want to take advantage of that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. 
I don't know what you hippie people drink, hypnotic. Also, this dog is running away from me this time, and I don't like the... Because I want that tail, and I thought I... Oh, great. Oh, no, they're attacking the dog. Okay, this might work out for me. Or... No, no, no. The dog is leading them to me. This is bad. Run away! They sound like they're nearby. Okay. Crap. Okay, they chased the dog off. And now I can't really get to the dog. That's annoying. Your night crew resolution is to act without consequences. Considering that that used to be what night crew was about, and we would literally just sit here and talk about female streamers that we wanted to sleep with. Not big ones, just, you know, the ones we knew. I'm just kidding. That never happened. We did that once, and I just said I had a crush on somebody, and that was it. And then I grew up, and I was like, yeah, crushes aren't a real thing. Look, I'm just saying, out of those two words, hypnotic, one of them is deplorable, but one of them... Didn't fight in Nam, which is way worse. So I think you know where we stand. And yeah, I don't want anything to do with you. Okay, so I lost my dog, which means I'm not going to get that suited still. I still might be able to avoid this soldier, but if I can't avoid him, there's only one. I'm not going to be able to get that stash. I have no idea where the dog went. I don't know if they killed the dog. Uh, your mini-map doesn't show you a dead dog, like it shows you dead people, because dogs don't have PDAs. So, that's unfortunate. I'm not going to be able to get the stash. Maybe if I ran in there where they were chasing the dog, maybe, but I didn't. I did hear the dog yelp. Once. Oh, crap. Ah! Bad day, bad day. There's the dog! Run, dog, run! Run away! Run for freedom! Wait, you know what? Gosh darn it. Okay, he didn't like that. He didn't like that at all. Uh, heal! Alright, you know what? Whew. Okay, give me your tail. Quick save. And we outran the pigs, and I didn't run into the soldier, so... Winds all around. I'm also wondering if I can go over there and pick up some of the junk I left on the ground. And see if I left any soldiers with ammunition from the uh, first fight when we came in here. Crushes aren't a real thing? Not at all. They have an orange one? I see it. Excuse me? What? An orange what? Oh, orange crush. Yes, yes, yes. But that's the only type of crush. That's the only type of crush are sodas, which hurt you. And crushing, like physically, which hurts you. There's no crush you want to be associated with. Doesn't exist. We're grown. <laughs> Not. Okay, I was right. Bodies that got left behind here are still behind here. However, this guy's last name is Attorney. What is the deal with the last names? Are they gag names? Surely these aren't actual direct... Russian to English translations, nor just Cyrillic to Latin word translations. None of that makes sense. Also, there's the pile of guns that I drop. None of them have ammunition. Every one of these guys I'm checking, apparently. This oh my gosh! Mistake, mistake. I made a mistake. Made a mistake. I gotta get out of here. Later. Yep. Alright. No, those guys had ammo on them anyway, so it's okay. And I know there's a stash back behind there, but I'm gonna have to leave it alone. Thank God for some sort of stamina. I just don't have the ammo to deal with them. <laughs> grape Crush? They have a Grape Crush? I thought there was Orange Crush and Grape was something else. Or maybe, you know, once I saw the Grape Fire, I just stopped reading. Ah, crap. Alright, another patrol. Looks like it might just be one guy. The problem is, one guy is not worth killing to get less than one guy's worth of ammo. Alright, doggy. Crap, are you alone? I hope you're alone. 
Okay, there's two. As long as there's not like 18 of them, we should be fine. Hey, you. Get out of here. <laughs> it hit him. It like moved him just a little bit. Uh oh. That's bad. Also, I used a med kit when I did not need to use a med kit. This is a bad choice. I'm making lots of bad choices in Stalker. Yeah? Yeah? Come get some! Am I hitting or not? <laughs> I, like, don't know if I'm hitting anything. Need some, like, Turok knife mechanics here. Alright, he's out. Look, I just wanted that little crystal thing, alright? That little animation where they turn around to bite at you, that's pretty dope. Alright, should just be one more. Maybe I can convince him to run away. There's a grapefruit crush? Get out of here. That's terrible. Also, I don't know why. I read cherry crush, and for some reason I thought cheesecake crush, and I was like, come on. Alright. No more dogs. We'll take these dog tails. I do hear someone talking. I don't know where they are. I don't want to know where they are. I just want to get this rare, valuable artifact and get out. It's a goldfish! Whoa! 5,000. Nice. That was worth it. Alright. Uh, let's check the rest of the dog for tails. Since we had to kill him, these are worth money, after all. Also, there's another artifact up on high. Take a quick save. Pineapples are the devil's fruit. Changed my mind. Well, they do take, like, a year to grow, right? So, maybe they're the devil's fruit, but they teach a good lesson. Also, I hear more dogs out here, but I know there's a soldier down here. So, I'm trying to skirt the line between the two. Also, I was wrong. There are definitely two of them. No, three! There are three or more down there, and that was not a fight I wanted to take. But it looks like I will be able to slip past them. Thankfully. And I can get back to my friends with the garbage. I do feel that the higher difficulty we've been playing on, the more our friends just die. And I'm just going to be a loner in this game, unfortunately. Alright, back to the garbage. Back to safety. Hopefully the bandits haven't retaken that whole route that we blew through to get here. Because that would be dumb. That would be really dumb. Look, are we talking about... Protect the stalker, scamp the garbage from the bandits assault. I'm not doing that again. I've done that too many times. And this time I'm on the side of the bandits and I have no idea how I can avoid them. Especially when I hear my Geiger counter going crazy. When I'm trying to escape to the sides. I'm not going to be able to fight these guys. I don't have anything left. I have one grenade that I could maybe throw right at them. Take out those two and then shoot the other one very carefully. I got one. Also, there's a fourth guy I didn't know about. And now I'm out of rifle ammo. Look, master difficulty blows. I get its appeal. I don't think we're going to make progress on the game like this. Also, getting irradiated like crazy right now because I can't run off to the sides of the mountain. Uh, vodka, 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 double vodka. Ooh, bad day. Am I out of medkits? I used all of my medkits. That's not cool. Also, I'm drunk. Alright, anti-rad medication work way better than vodka anyways. Plus, I don't get drunk. I didn't realize you could use it to decrease radiation. I thought it was just to prevent radiation, but I'm starting to believe that maybe one in the same in this game. However, the fact that there's bandits between me and getting help, and I have 16 rounds left for this pistol, does not inspire confidence. And these guys have some actual full bore weapons. I almost feel like I just want to run past them, see if I can make it that way. Especially when I have, like, no meds left. Yeah, I'm out of heals.
Oh, oh. And I'm out of bullets. Oh, y'all know what that means. Run! Sprint, 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 sprint. Can I reach for the for the bullets? Yeah. Okay, grab that. <laughs> See if I can load something up. That was a terrible predicament we're on. Smash, have you ever played the Stalker games? And do you enjoy them? Crap, whatever I picked up, it's not ammo for that. It's 9x19 ammo, meaning he had an MP5 on him. But I can't see his MP5. There it is. Okay, pick that up. Hopefully I don't get shot by this guy. Alright, get a little bit more ammo. Where you at? Where you at? Okay, that's a headshot there. Still got three guys around me. There you go, you're down. Still got more guys around me. I'm gonna need to start picking up more ammo. Alright, quickly, quickly, quickly. AK, AK. Take that, take that. Alright, we out. Come back here. I probably need a little closer for that. Let's go back to this. Eight rounds rifle. How about that rum? Yeah, what about rum? Also, yeah, no tequila allowed on this channel. Rum, vodka, whiskey, bourbons, even some cheap beers. And some not so cheap beers. Absolutely. But tequila, it's like the one thing that's banned here. That and the mention of the word that I recently banned from my Twitter feed. Which, if you keep up with me on Twitter, you know exactly what that was. Oh, this is bad. Is this guy shooting at me through trees? I don't know. Oh, there's another guy. Yeah, that wasn't good. Okay, so I didn't quick save into that fight too much because I was worried about trying to finish that without ammo. And I'm honestly wondering if I should try to just run through these guys. With all of my stamina and then like pop an energy drink halfway through. So I can get away even more. It's working so far. I haven't got hit once, and I still got medical, but I think I just crashed the game. Nope, nope. Game slowed up for a minute. Didn't crash. Took a heal. Oh my gosh, there's so many bandits there. Okay, can I go around? It's not like a radiate over here, is it? Okay, made it to the wall. I just have to make my way around. Tequila makes everyone sick. It's not like a specific person with a specific metabolism or anything of that nature. It is literally everybody. Phobos. No one likes tequila. People who do like tequila drink too much because they cannot feel what they're drinking. They cannot taste it. They do not know what's going on. For example, look at 1800. Is it 1800 Rosado or is it just 1800 Silver? Like 1800 gold, silver, platinum, tequila. Look at who is the frontman for advertising that brand. Ray Liotta. Do you really want to live your life like Ray Liotta? Unless it's in the movie. Wow, dude. Your boys are back here fighting. You're not even trying to help them. Some stalker you are. Oh, I don't have an MP5 this time. You know what? Here. Take the special AK that I do not need. Take that. And he dropped his MP5 for that AK. Which had no ammo in it. Did I leave any ammo behind in here? I left buckshot pellets. I apparently... Oh no, 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 this is the wrong way. Okay, I left buckshot and I left shotguns. And I left tons of 9x8. Still some bandages that I could use. Other than that... Nothing in here has any other ammo. So, yeah, if any of you guys go down, I don't have medkits for you. Just so y'all know. Let's make sure we keep that clear. Okay. So, one of our stashes we left behind. It's gonna work out. 
I hear you, dude, but I can't do anything for you. You know why? Because I don't have any medkits. Divide, divide. All these guys are dying. Like, how the hell are there supposed to be any friendly outposts when everyone dies? I don't even feel like helping these guys, man. I feel like I should just roll out. No, because one of my contacts is here. I'm supposed to be here. No, that's just the mission to defend these guys. Which I totally don't have to do. Yeah, I have no obligation to help these guys, do I? And I don't think... I don't know if friendly NPCs actually respawn or anything. So, I don't know. New girl could put down bottles of the poison. She never got sick. Well, she have a lighter pigmentation and that she loved to party while she was earning her college degree. That's not a racist thing, but it is a profiling thing. Did she post snapshots of herself breakdancing in a very awkward fashion? You know what? I feel like we need to load up on a good amount of ammo. Dude, I know you're hurt, but I got nothing for you unless one of these guys I kill has a medkit on him, and I doubt that's gonna happen. Because... I thought I had 9mm ammo on me. It's just 9 by 18 plus P. Okay. Got a little bit more rifle ammo. I cannot help you, dude. I don't have enough ammo to deal with this. But, uh, indeed... Unless every shot is a first round headshot. It's like four guys I put down. Alright, I still got a friendly over there. He's not keeping them out, but he is keeping them suppressed. There's a dog in here. There are multiple dogs in here. One of them is a pseudo dog. Two of them are pseudo dogs. And a bandit killed one, and I'm kind of thankful, but at the same time, I would like him to get out of here. So I can pick his buddies for ammunition. I'm taking all this stuff. I'm gonna eat some foods. Not, I don't need meds. Gonna eat some more food. A ton of bread. Is there a guy behind us? Is that an enemy? That is an enemy, and he is behind us. Okay, security took care of him, but it took him a little bit. I'm not a fan of that. Also, apparently we did defend the camp, so we can come for a reward. I don't know who would reward us. I hope it's not this guy who was down. Help, friend. See you, because I don't have a medkit. Sorry. And I will take your weapon. Because I need the ammunition. I feel really bad about this, but I really don't have anything to help you, dude. Ah, uh, great. People are still fighting. Unless one of these guys has a medkit on him. We're out of luck, my dude. Those things go hand in hand, right? Dude, I know you're hurt. I got nothing for you. I'm sorry. I can't remember how to say sorry in Russian. Spasiba, thank you. Zalsta, you're welcome. Can't really think of sorry. Poka, bye. I don't even know. I love how we're using the most crazy terms to speak about this. Are you sure she wasn't just a main ad? She wasn't adherent of Dionysus. This is this is classy. I like you guys. Night crew, stay classy. Someone else downed over here, and I know I have nothing else to help out. No, that's just my guy that's still back there yelling. Uh, no, it might be that guy. The uh, upper gate guard. Take that stuff. I'm gonna need that. Hey, buddy, you downed up here? Yeah, I got nothing I can do for you. So, I'm just gonna leave you here. 
I'm honestly overweight as it is, and I honestly, I really thought that once we got done with this part of the game, like, the other side, I thought these NPCs would stop appearing, but they never stopped. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but I've got a decent amount of ammunition to roll with. Not a lot, but enough to survive on at least to the next place. Fortunately, I don't have anything to help you with. I would, it would be awesome. You can still trade with these guys. This guy will give me 32.50 for that. 16.25 for the jellyfish, huh? Or the stone flower. How much you give me for the jellyfish? 650? I can sell the duty for more than that. And I'm about to go hit up some duty guys. Not a lot of them have any. Or not a lot of them have a lot of money. But I'll still take my chances with them. That'll lighten up a lot of our weight. What's really funny is since these guys can trade. I need help. Thank you. <laughs> still say Spazivit anyways. Um... What's funny is that I guess if one of these guys had a medkit on them, I could buy it off of them and then give it to them, which I think that guy's still holding a few medkits, the leader of this place. Plus, I still need to find out who to get that reward from, unless the guy who gives the rewards is dead. In which case, I really have nothing. I, I don't think it was this guy, Chemist. I sold him some stuff, but he's not the guy who had medkits on them. I think the leader of this place is dead. Fairly certain. What do you guys got on you? And you got meds? These guys got money on them, and I want to sell them stuff, but because I can get more money from the duty guys, I just want to carry it. Yeah, I'm positive the leader of this place is dead. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna lose weight really quickly once we start shooting off a lot of this stuff. We do have a shotgun again, which means we have some backup ammo. But it does make us heavy to carry three different primaries. But I feel like we're going to need all of them. So we'll go like this. Once you get near 2 a.m. I start speaking in mythology apparently. Are you sure that's not the tequila doing it to you? Too? Smash, what are you playing lately? Also, I'd like a snack. Was anyone else like a snack? I'm going to go get us some snacks. Let's take a hard save. Alright, and I will be right back with Snackage. So it goes, indeed.